soups for you guys that I know you're going to enjoy. It's getting so cold where I live right now and the thing that I crave every single day on the daily is a nice delicious soup and I've been experimenting with lots of different soups and I'm bringing you three soups today that are brand new to the channel and you can find the recipes down below in the description box uh, full step by step. I'm a huge soup lover and I know that soups just make you feel so comforted and so warm and you can still keep them really really healthy and that's exactly what I've done with all three of these soups. And a quick update on the new cookbook, it's going to be out very very soon. We're doing our very best to get everything all set for you guys and there's a ton of soups in the cookbook book as well. If you enjoyed these recipes, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you know when I have new videos coming out. Let's get into these three delicious warming soup recipes. First up is this really flavorful black bean soup. I'm just chopping up all my veggies that I'm going to use in this. I'm using a red onion, which can sometimes be a little bit powerful, but it works really well in this soup. Some garlic, some jalapeno, carrot, red bell pepper. And to keep this oil free, as usual, I'm going to saute with a little bit of better than bouillon and water. I'm putting in the onions and the garlic first, and then putting in the jalapeno, the carrots, and the red bell pepper next. No more flavor until I can't afford it. What's poor on my life? You deserve what you want for tomorrow and today, girl. I'm coming home late, girl. Up next, I'm adding some ground cumin, and then I'm adding in some smoked paprika, and I'm letting that simmer for just a little bit. Adding in the beans and the corn. Backside cake, girl. Should have been a baker. Too much is never enough, so what you say, girl? And adding in about four cups of broth. Again, in this recipe, I used better than bouillon vegetable base because I really feel like it gives a great flavor. I'm letting the soup simmer for about 20 minutes and in that time I'm getting some fresh lime juice ready and chopping my cilantro that will go in. Get you started. Where you trying to go? Like, for instance, maybe the distance, even when I'm Give it a taste during this time that it's simmering, and then just see if you want to add a little salt and pepper. Touch and roll, then I'm touch and roll, girl, I got to go, but I'm Once it's done simmering, go ahead and turn it off, add the lime juice and the cilantro, stir it in, and then just give it a couple minutes to blend all the flavors together. Now, of course, you can top this with whatever you choose, but what I really enjoyed was some fresh green onions, a little bit of avocado, and jalapeno. Is it mutual? Uh, do you too? Not what you used to, I'm way more useful. I'm Next up is a creamy roasted cauliflower soup. The first thing I'm doing is preheating the oven to 400 degrees, and then during that time, I'm just rinsing my cauliflower head and I'm breaking it apart and chopping it into little florets. Yeah, yeah. Is it too much? I'm also taking a head of garlic and just chopping off the very top of it and I'm going to roast all of this on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Now you don't need oil to do this, it's absolutely unnecessary. You can season with salt and pepper at this point if you want, but you really don't have to do that either. I'm going to pop that into the oven for about 30 minutes. And while it is roasting in the oven, I'm going to chop up the rest of my veggies. I'm using an onion, some carrots, and some celery. Adding all of those to a large soup pot and I'm just water frying this. Adding in my spices now, I've got some salt and pepper and some smoked paprika. And now I'm adding in the vegetable broth. For this recipe, I chose to use bouillon cubes. After the cauliflower and garlic have been roasting for 30 minutes, go ahead and take them out. You should have a little bit of browning to the cauliflower. Now you're just going to squeeze the garlic cloves out of the head of garlic. It should come out really easily. Dump all of that into the large soup pot that you've already got going, and you're just going to add everything and stir it together. 
Go ahead and bring that to a boil and then reduce the heat for about 10 to 15 minutes. At this point, my recommendation would be to put about half of the soup into a blender and blend it smooth. In this video, I've done the entire soup and I think that it would taste better with just a little bit of chunky pieces of the garlic and the roasted cauliflower. So it's 100% up to you how you'd like to do that, but you're just gonna puree either all of the soup or half the soup and then put it back into the soup pot. Give it a taste, see how you like it. If you wanna add a little bit more salt or pepper or paprika, this would be the point to do that. I went ahead and garnished this with some salt, pepper, and fresh parsley, and it tasted so comforting and warming. At this point, you know the drill. I'm just chopping my veggies. I'm gonna do some onion, some garlic, some carrots, and celery to start off. Close for you to hear it. Over that bartender, yelling out them drinks. Will the cover band off key sings? Yeah. Can I tell you a secret? I'm also gonna chop off one and a half zucchini. In a large soup pot, I'm taking the onion, garlic, celery, and carrots, and I'm just sauteing that with a little bit of water for a couple of minutes. And I'm adding in the zucchini, the vegetable bouillon, adding dried thyme, oregano, basil, a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm adding in a can of diced tomatoes and a can of tomato paste. Adding in my water to make it simmer. This, this soup is super easy and it goes really quick because you're just adding things in. Like no one, it's like you get down up to get me on a low to medium heat, I'm gonna cover this and let it simmer for about 30 minutes, stirring it occasionally, and then I'm gonna add in the cannellini beans and cook for another five minutes, turn it off, and then put in the kale leaves. Now, if you don't like kale, you could always use spinach in place of that. I'm adding a little bit more salt and pepper. Have a taste, as usual, everybody's a little bit different. You wanna just see what's gonna taste good to you. If you wanna add in a little bit more thyme or basil or oregano, you can do that at this point as well. And with all the soups, I really feel like if you cover them after you're finished and you give them a time to just kind of get the flavors going, they really become more flavorful when you actually are ready to eat them. So this is a really hearty soup. It's reminiscent of a minestrone, but it's not quite a minestrone, and we really like this soup around here. If you have leftovers, is you can actually turn it into a pasta sauce by just blending it up in the blender with a handful of cashews. So you can enjoy it as it is and also have an alternative for leftovers. I hope you enjoyed those recipes. Again, the full step-by-step -step is down in the description. And then just a little bit on the upcoming cookbook. We're really trying hard to get it ready for you guys within the next month. Chris and I are super proud of the way that it's turned out. The recipes are delicious. It's geared towards weight loss, it's geared towards no oil, and it's geared towards whole food plant-based. So get excited, because I know that we're super excited to bring it to you guys. Um, once again, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, because it really helps out my channel, lets me know what you guys want to see. Subscribe if you're not already, and I I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.